friends. Today I'm going to work on some tags. I got, let's see, might do a, I think I'll just do two today. I got a whole bunch that I want to work through, so I might be doing these every once in a while. And just going to cover the whole thing in modeling paste and then dry that up. I'm going to have really nice texture here. So this is a larger stencil, but I'm using fair size. I made fair size tags. These tags are perfect for Christmas, birthdays. What a nice dec decoration on a, on a gift box when you have a nice, huge, beautiful handmade tag. So I thought it's September. Get some tags out so I can do some gifts for a couple of birthdays and a couple, you know, got a big family, got a few tags to make for Christmas, and that kind of thing. So this is a good way to recycle your paper cover, your paper pad covers and whatever else, um, any kind of cereal box or anything like that. You just got, you know, to make it look nice, you could back it up with card stuff. These tags are about done um, drawing here with the, I think it was matte medium. Um, modeling paste I put on there. I might have put gesso. I wasn't paying too much attention, but gesso works too. It's a pretty good product. Um, the deco art. So, um, just need a bit of texture, but what I'm going to do now is I'm going to grab the gesso and I'm just going to throw it on there. That probably was the matte medium. I'm just like losing track. And I'm just going to whiten it up a bit in the background. And Still might have some background color and stuff like that, but I want to prepare my page for paint to move along it and to show up and that kind of thing. So I'm going to try to get in my design with the gesso, have some fun with it, and yeah, do that throughout both of these. I might not put so much in this one because I like the, the gold and green color. So it might just be a little lighter. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see if I can pull it through. You can choose to leave some behind. It looks like I don't have much <laughs> color behind, but there is a little bit. Even in this one, there's a little bit of color. Uh, with for. these tags here, I might put a little cheesecloth on here. I'm just going to check if I have any pulled apart. Uh, I could put cheesecloth. I could put dryer uh, lint fluff. Or not dryer lint fluff. The dryer scented pieces. I think I'll do both. I'll do a little cheesecloth. But I'm just going to look at that piece here. I should have just quickly done that. Cut a little piece off, anyways, I think. Do a little bit of uh, cheesecloth on here, which makes a nice texture. I'm going to use my matte gel to adhere that to my project. So, I think I'll do a little bit here and there. I'm going to grab my matte gel and stick some on and kind of just use that to get going here. A nice texture. I love how the cheesecloth could pull apart and stuff and it'll have really neat texture after. So I just like to push it right through. Move it around until I'm happy with the texture and stuff like that. Let's see. Get some of that on there. I'm going to go right here with some as well. have a nice couple of good pieces and I'm just using my 
brush here to push it into the matte medium, the matte gel. And that's going to look really nice when I add any inks or paints or anything like that. Now, I think on this side, we were going to do some of the fluff or the lint stuff from the dryer. So, I'll put this one to the side a bit and play with this. See what I like on here for texture. It smells good. It'll smell really good when I heat it up too. <laughs> so I'm gonna see how that how I like that. Grab my my brush I use for hearing, my glue brush, it's in water. I keep it in water and I'm just gonna push that on there. We'll see how that reacts to any kind of paint or anything I add to that, or inks. It should soak up the color a little bit and just have a neat pattern on there. We're pushing in to get around some of the pattern. But hey, not necessarily. I'm just kind of going with the flow of it. Put some matte medium, matte gel down here. go around the edge here see how this works for me add a little more I'm going crazy with it just to see how it works I haven't used it yet that gel and put it there. I'm going to dry that all up. See how that works. Just put a little bit more coating of this right here. Just playing with it. want a lot of texture. See how that works for me. I think I used the whole sheet <laughs> so I might just throw it on there for the whole sheet on there. Let's see. It's a test, right? Let's see how that works. So this one is quite textural. We'll see how that turns. Okay, dry. I'm just fill up my bottle a bit here. And I'm just gonna touch it. Just in some spots here. See where I can get some more movement. Isn't that pretty? I'm trying to use the alcohol. This is 70% alcohol in my older bottle that I used up the uh, iridescent silver. And I just find it dries quickly. I, I kind of like that and I love the cheesecloth now this is the one where I have used it before and I just love how it picks up the color I really do love it so I'm just going to move it around continuously till I get what I'm happy with you can see, can you see it moving I love it I might put a tad of black with this one. I'm not sure if I should do that today or not, or a tad of a blue. I think I'll just do a tad of blue, something different. I think I have added black before to a tag. This is gonna be like a purpley blue, very a dark, well, really dark blue. So I'll see here. I'm going to add just a little bit to the corner. You guys can't see me doing it, but I'm going to add just a little bit to the corner here. And we'll see. That blue go through. I might just 
see if I can spray on just a touch. I'll put something in the background here to catch it. Just to give it a bit more of a, instead of just dabbing on there, just a bit of a spray. See how that reacts. Gives it a kind of a nice mixture, I think, the blues. I'm just moving a little alcohol on there to get it to move. Like adding water onto watercolor paper. That's what I'm doing. I'm hoping that works. It might. I think. I think it worked. <laughs> just to the cheesecloth there, even though it's you know got the gel medium, it's doing its thing. I'm just going to let it go this side. Let it go. Not add too much. I just want to move it around. Spread the love, the color. And that is that. And I will dry that up. I'm very happy with that. Beautiful. It's almost like a marbling effect, the way it just moved along here. I'm just going to bring it up closer. The teal and the blue just look so great together. And I'm going to dry that up. I absolutely love how these turned out. Um, I'm just going to show you closely here. The teal and the blue is actually going to be my next favorite, I think. I really did like this, the gold and the coffee, but I'm really liking the teal and the blue. I think I'm going to grab, I have a little bit of gold brush. It's fairly dry, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to throw on throw a little on a paintbrush here. I'm just going to wet it a bit and maybe add a little bit of gold rush. Wetting my paintbrush just a bit, dabbing some of my moisture off. And I'm just going to add a little gold rush to it to see how I like it. It's just a recycled tag, so if you don't like it, it's, I mean, you could do the same thing over again and not do what you didn't like. I like the gold in there. So I'm just going to just lightly dust it with the gold rush. I think it adds a little bit of interest. So any kind of little bit of a buff in gold or anything like yeah, that you have, you can do that that way too. I'm trying to get some of the moisture out. I don't want too wet to pour in there too much. I just want to rub it up. Rub it up on there. And there's yeah, a nice recycled tag that you could just use for any occasion. I really like it. Don't have to go to the store and buy them unless you want to. And you can still do the same concept on there and you can still do the modeling paste and I'm going in our redirections to catch the texture. You could do the modeling paste and that on a bot tag as well. But you can't tell that this is not bought. I, sh I would you know back it up or whatever but you can't like this is great. I don't even know if I need to add gold to this one because there's gold spray in here but Maybe where I want a touch more gold, I could do it. Could go in with my um, copper and add a little bit of interest in that too. Um, of copper, you could do whatever with the rub and buff or. Or like I said, like the lusters here, these ones are usually really creamy, but if they're dry, you just add a little water. And 
add a little water and dry it fresh pretty good and then just wiping it off. This one's quite creamy. So just to barely take some, get it into my brush. I'm just pushing it into my brush right here. And it's even too creamy still, too wet still. I'm just getting a little bit. Now I'm getting a little copper in there. Copper kettle. Pulling some of that nice I love that. Just getting some of that redness in there, that copper color. So, we got some really great beginnings here. Now all they really need is some embellishments and um, just kind of finished touches. So I'm going to dry these up and then we'll work on the next step. So I've been looking for some pieces to add on here and I found these so far. I'm not sure what I'm going to use. I have different flowers. I have a um, dryer cloth flower I made and flower given to me um, sent to me mail paper flower I made I have sticker um, butterfly pieces of card tag I got layered paper stuff I made <clears throat> this is like the paper uh, pulp stuff um, I can't even think of the name of it but you can make it blend in your paper and that and I'm gonna probably use that on this one so I got some options here and you can have any kind of embellishments you've made and you know add to it or you know anything like that so just flipping through lots of different card stuff I made and things and I think Even like this one here, I cut out this uh, card piece somebody gave me, and I even got this one. Something like this would be really cute on a card, too, if you're having a card for a friend or something like that. Something really cute. So, there's a lots of options that I can, you know, do on here. So, just like I got lots of little pieces of lace and that kind of thing. So it can be as fancy as you'd like, kind of a thing. I have some wire here. I can't even remember what I got from. And almost like it's got like a fabric on it. So I might use that here. Just because I have a hot glue going too. So I might just um, see how I like this. I'm going to wrap it around my gesso, I think. It's a, it's just a wire. See how I like that. I could add more. Let's see. Don't even know what I got it from. It was obviously some piece of craft thing that had this wire with it. And of course I don't get rid of too much stuff. <laughs> so I had it. That's really neat. That gives it a neat um, look. I could use the dryer uh, flower thing. So these are some different tiles I made using scrap paper, layers and layers of scrap paper. I don't know if you guys can see that. And maybe some mesh or whatever and I just and this one's got some ribbon through it and, and then I shape it to whatever I got embossing on this one this one I actually um, covered with resin 
and uh, just to show you. So, but I can use these um, for my background here. And I think I like this. This is a little bit different than what I normally do, but I think I'm not going to do the flower on this one. I think I'm going to do the bird. And just pick some shapes I like and tones. And I got some glue, glue stuff happening there, but I like that. And then you can have a little tag here. This one says my friend, but it could be whatever. <clears throat> so I think I'm going to keep this one as crazy as it might seem. It's a little different. I'm going to put this one a little higher and I'll let that glue cool off a bit. I want to put it a little higher, let it dry higher. Maybe I'll let Add some glue here, try to mount it up a bit. Try to get same height as that one here with the wire underneath. I could cut up some wire and throw it underneath too. And then there is my and I'm just gonna hold it. Be patient. And then there is my piece, just like that. So I'm going to throw in a little bit of glue in some spots here. need it. And I can darken up my edges or whatever too. So that's my interesting. It's interesting. I don't know. I kind of like that. I think I want one more thing on here. And that'll be this. I really like this. Gold, pop of gold layers pop of gold just like that I've got some shapes happening got some layers and there we go that's interesting that's that one I think I'll darken my edges too, really darken them because I've got the dark edges on these pieces I made. Now this one here, I'll move this one out of my way. Okay, I think I might use the little girl on this one, I'm not sure. You just do so many layers of stuff. I don't think I want to use Oh, I could use the butterfly and the flower. It actually looks kind of nice. This could be a nice trim. I can leave it. I could paint it. I might add gold on it. So I could be right back. I think I'll put some... I think I'll put some gold rush on this. So for this one, I'm going to put this up here, I think. I really don't even know what I want to do. Isn't that funny? just 
just kind of playing with it, really. Putting your layers on, playing with what you want. And this one might be just as easy as that. No flower. I think it might be just as easy as that. It could be as simple. as you want. I can add inks. I could have added ink to the background of that too. I think I'm just trying to piece together like a puzzle and see how it just wants to go. Oh, I just tried some glue here. I dropped some glue. This is what paper butterfly needs to go somewhere. But it's ripped. And that's just a puzzle piece that you're going to have to work with. I might have to just take it off. want to check if I like something. I would probably should heat it up. So what I'm going to do on glue is just heat it up a bit. Play with it. It's not, the end of the world. Ah, not the end of the world to change it up. I kind of saw something here that I like. The whimsical butterfly here. I kind of like that. For some reason, I kind of like this layering right here, so I'm going to do it just because I like it. So I'm going to layer this. Try to be more careful with my glue. Really close right here. And have a little space here for my to and from. I'm going to add some glue to the butterfly. It just gives a layer of story or something to me. And this is an old swap when we first started International Crafters like three years ago. And I'm going to put her right there. So I'm going to, that butterfly is so stiff. Put it right there. It's my last one that was made for me in this swap. Right there. want it layered up a bit so I'm going to put a little bit of hot glue and a little mountain here. A little more. And kind of push it on and kind of pull it away as it's drying or cooling. get that look that I want, height, and that is that. Speedy look. Hot glue you can really manipulate to make it look a little bit more 3D, which I like. Otherwise, hot glue is kind of not my favorite thing to glue with, but when you use it in that way, there's quite a bit of height on here. Just gotta make sure you don't burn yourself. There's quite a bit of height on there, and I just glued. Gotta wait for the head part to dry. And that's about it. 
I'm going to add some glue here, and I might actually put something behind there too, because that is pretty tall, pretty high up. But we'll see what we can do. I put a mountain of glue. I'm letting it kind of touch and pull away, and I can't really show you there without it running. <laughs> that touch, and just kind of pull it away, it'll dry nice. Use that glue for the height. Once it cools off a bit, I'll show you. You can see it in there that there's a gap. It's it's holding it like it's bridging the gap, and then it's gonna get hard. Then you just pull the strings off after. And Here's my good. done tags. I did some embellishing off camera, added some greens, pulled it together a little bit more. This is just stuff that I happened to have. Nothing made sense, and I kind of pulled it to make it sense, to make sense. Uh, the ball cap and heart somebody gave me, if you recognize that. Um, and I used some cheesecloth to make my um, top here, and I just cut some stri a strip and colored it to the same colors of my tag. Um, yeah, so like I said, I added the green just to tie it together a little bit because I had a little green in the bottle cap. Um, this one, add uh, the trim here and more that whatever this is, raffia or whatever, my tops. This is just stuff that's come off of something else like a pillow or whatever and then I saved it. So recycle as much as you can, throw layers on. I didn't know how this was going to turn out. This butterfly would have ended up in the garbage probably because it was it had a broken wing. Um, throw it together and make something nice and use it. This is recycled. I'll show you a couple other tags I made on International Crafters. You guys are interested in joining that. Myself and Nikki Parr are in that. I'll have links at the end of the video here. This is one I made in that group. Um, I have the cheesecloth uh, doilies. Same thing in the background. And um, this one as well. So just recycle some paper, cardboard cereal boxes, whatever, or buy tags and um, just start from something fresh. And there you go. This is just stuff that I haven't been using and I want to use up. So different paper flowers and jewels and stuff like that and doilies and whatnot. So I hope you guys like this idea of making some really nice big tags and um, using them up for really nice decorative pieces on gifts and stuff, I think. So... Don't forget to craft like a duck, guys, and I will see you soon. Bye.